Hey, what's going on, everyone? Choco here, and let me start off with my apologies. A thousand apologies. Please do not beat me up and hang me by my pinky toes off twine. I do not wish for this. But I am alive. I am fine. I know some people on Twitter have been really concerned, as well as other places. But I know that it's been kind of spooky, because I haven't uploaded anything in quite some time. So I'm hoping to address those questions today, as well as make some announcements that are relatively large. Now, quick couple things here. Number one, the background gameplay is of Overwatch Quick Play. Not terribly high skill. I was like half awake when I was doing it. But I wanted to make sure that you guys had something to watch while I was talking and it wasn't just like this is really boring I'm gonna go cry now uh, so you will have something at least to kind of watch while I'm talking and then also in addition to that I want to mention that if you are not curious about what has been going on but what will be happening skip to that part of the video um, I, I don't know if I remember I'll put in the description, but if I fail to do that then comment section help me help me and put a link it somewhere down below But anyways, let me get right into it um, The announcements and all that stuff. Let me start off by talking about it in three different kind of Perspectives or kind of three different parts of this. So let's talk about the past first. Where have I been? So as you all know, I went down to Texas to visit my good buddy Preston and hang out with him for a good while there I also got to like hang out with Landon and Nathan, both very fine gentlemen, and it was a good time. I had a lot of fun there, and it was really great. And after the Texas trip, I was supposed to go back to daily uploads, but at that point, I kind of had spent some time looking at my channels and kind of weighing out a couple things in my mind, and the resulting conclusion was I wasn't happy with where the channels were. Not happy, not in the sense of like, oh, I feel like I'm not. I actually feel like I put in a lot of work into it, but I was put, I was working hard but dumb. I was not working in a smart way. And what I mean by that is I felt that I had kind of made a couple of missteps and the identities of my channels kind of got cloudy a little bit, so I wanted to refine that. And I'll talk about what we're going to be doing to address it, but basically what it come, came down to was I felt like for the Quaycraft channel, which is only Minecraft at the moment. Um, Quaycraft was getting a little bit too technical with Sky Factory. It was getting a little bit too weirdly invested. Like, if you weren't paying attention the entire time, it got really confusing. It's like, oh, I guess he can fly now. Oh, I guess he's going to have giant dragon swords. And it was just kind of very odd. And if you weren't familiar with what everything did, it was just very off-putting. I know some people enjoyed Sky Factory. I enjoyed Sky Factory. But I think that it may be time for a little bit of a change of pace in there or additional variety with Minecraft content. So just heads up. All right. I do want to make sure that I acknowledge that. So for those of you who have not been enjoying Sky Factory, huzzah, because you will no longer have just Sky Factory for Minecraft content, hopefully, once we get everything kind of running and rolling. Uh, the other side of it, Choco the Chogo channel, I felt was more of the identity problem. We, I tested out kind of how Overwatch was doing and how people were feeling about the Overwatches and people seemed to be like, it's okay, I, I don't know. You don't really seem to be very good at the game, which was completely accurate. Uh, but I do, I do think that it was kind of unclear and I wasn't really sure how I felt about Ark being on that channel because I just felt like it was kind of going against what I was hoping for originally whenever I called it my Let's Play channel way back when. So I felt like it kind of had an identity issue. So uh, that was kind of right after Texas, and then like shortly thereafter, I'd take up some stuff involving personal things, and I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. It was completely okay. It wasn't even a bad thing. It was just it took some time out of my schedule. Um, and then after that, I got into Overwatch Season One ranked. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Overwatch, it's a game that is like a shooter-ass game. I did publish some of it on the Choco the Chocobo channel, Choco the Chocobo channel, if you want to check it out. Uh, but I decided to get into Season 1 Ranked because I was really curious about what the best way for me to proceed forward uh, with Overwatch was. And as part of that, I was like, well, you know what? I think I'd be good first. And I haven't tried to be, like, earnestly good at a game until, or since Dota and until Overwatch, really. I kind of, you know, I'm, I, I would say I'm okay at Minecraft. I'm okay at COD. I'm okay at, like, other games here and there. I'm even, I would even say maybe, like, all right, question mark, at CSGO. But um, it definitely hasn't been a game recently 
where I've been able to really just say like, yeah, okay, I'm going to focus. I'm going to really try to not be bad. <laughs> I'm going to do my darndest to be at least decent. So I did spend some time with season one ranked, and the result of that, it ended just recently, the result of season one ranked was I reached skill rating 75. Now for those of you who are like, I don't know what 75 means. That sounds like a C, Choco, you did terrible. It's not exactly quite that. Technically it is a skill of zero to 100, but where 75 puts me, according to my calculations and mystical analysis, I did determine that I was probably around in the top 1%, um, both in terms of the American population as well as globally, which was kind of cool. I didn't realize I would get around there, but I am I am in the upper echelons, I would say, of Overwatch players. Not to say I'm super good at the game, but I'm, I'm at least somewhat competent, which was the very important thing to me. Now, whenever I went forward with this, I also kind of internally made a statement in my head, was like, if Overwatch becomes a big thing, and like for me, I have to hit top 500, then I'll make it a series on uh, the Choco the Chocobo channel, and I didn't hit top 500. That said, I've kind of bounced the idea around between people previously, and they're like, it seems like an awful waste for you to have become not bad at a game, but then not record on the game that you're not bad at. And I was like, you raise an interesting point of not trying to waste my time. But in earnest, it comes down to you guys. So if you guys, especially for those of you on the Choco the Chocobo channel who will interest in Overwatch, if you can leave me feedback about what you think is good about Overwatch potentially as a series, what format, I'm not going to cement myself down for anything in terms of whether it's going to be straight gameplays or whatever else. Um, but we'll see how that pans out. But for those of you who are interested in Overwatch, for those of you who aren't really too interested or don't even know Overwatch, give it a try. Give me some feedback about how you feel about that as a potential uh, series in terms of you would see a lot of gameplay coming out of there. Because I'm not too sure how people feel about Overwatch and I'm not too entirely certain about how things will go. It may end up being there. I don't know yet. Um, it really... It, I'm going to take a lot of you guys' feedback into a consideration, I guess. So, just as a heads up. All right, so, enough of that. So, the past. That's where I've been, and that's what's been going on. Now, let's get into kind of the present. What is going on right now? Um, I'm finally putting together the final bits and pieces of some, like, cool things that were involved with the revamp of my channel, so that's really cool. So extra things are gonna be popping on in. Um, I'm also gonna be changing the intro volumes because <laughs> I finally am going to try to make my volumes not completely ear bleed level at all times. So we're go you're gonna see some additional editing techniques added in, um, especially with regards to the audio. I am gonna try to keep that under check a little bit more because it has been kind of shady as of lately. And as of lately, I mean <laughs> since the beginning of my channel's history. But regardless, that's not important. <laughs> so, uh, I, I am going to be doing some of those revamp things. I am going to be looking at relaunching the channels relatively soon. And now let's go into the future. Um, and I guess one extra thing I should say about the present is I don't know when the daily uploads will be back, but they will be back, which leads into the future stuff. Now, the future things, and this is extremely important, um, the two things that are probably the biggest things among anything is that the... Choco the Choco channel is changing what's being uploaded onto it. <clears throat> For those of you who are fans of the ARC series, the ARC series will now be moving to the Quaycraft channel. There will be an ARC series, I'm pretty sure, I just don't know when that will be or what format it will be in. But I'm almost positive that I'll still have an ARC series, and in addition to having an ARC series, um, Quaycraft will be hosting, obviously, Minecraft, as well as any other game that fits under the genre of survival slash exploration. Minecraft, I, I don't play it, but Seven Days to Die, uh, Subnautica, things like that. That would fit into the Quaycraft channel. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, that's probably the place to go. And I think that will kind of make it a little bit more varied, so it's not just like constantly one thing after another, after another, after another. The other, so back to the Choco the Choco channel, what's going to be uploaded onto there is going to be uh, kind of instance content is the way I put it. So overwatch matches of overwatch or matches of cod or matches of i don't know golf with friends even though i don't really play that because i have no friends who want to record with me no but in in earnest like i am going to be changing it up so it's going to be about instance gameplay that way it's more let's play ish and a little bit more about quick and like fun things or just like something that doesn't delve as deep because i started realizing that like the majority of my content tends to be like, we must go deeper. And then we would spend an inordinately long amount of time playing uh, one or two games, and it was kind of like unreasonable 
the degree to which I was playing it. So I was like, I can't do that for like a ton of videos. It doesn't make sense. So instead what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna just change it to instance content, which I think will make a lot more sense for people to be like, hey, you know what? I have a short amount of time in my day. I don't wanna keep track of all this crazy stuff going on. I wanted to see what's going on with X. Like I wanna, I just wanna watch a quick thing of Overwatch. Then Chuggle the Chuggle will be the place for you to go. So that those are the two major changes that I'm pushing out is Quaycraft is survival exploration, Trail the Chocobo is instance content. Things that don't fit evenly into either of those, which I don't I can't think of any off the top of my head, because I tried to use my brain as much as I could here. But uh, I am going to probably do like a mix and match depending upon it. Like I would consider Pokemon Go to be more of like exploration question mark. So we'll see. But we'll see what ends up happening. Um, longer games even even though they are longer, like if I decide to play an RPG, like let's say whenever Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out, which I will be posting, that will be probably on the Chogo the Chocobo channel. So just as a heads up as to what's been going on, where things are going, uh, I will be doing all those things hopefully relatively soon. I don't know exactly when those things are happening. Overwatch, I doubt will be returning too terribly soon in the future, so we'll see what that ends up doing. But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. I'm sure this was extremely confusing. I am extremely sorry if it was, um, but I will certainly try to make sure that this goes over smoothly. For those of you who could follow anything that I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm kind of in a haze right now. But uh, yeah, by all means, leave me your feedback, leave me your comments. If you're excited for the relaunches, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you're very scared of the relaunches, also let me know in the comments below. I can't hold all your hands, because that's a lot of hands probably. But I will, I will try my best to, I don't know, whisper, it'll be okay. I, I, can somewhat assure you that the world will not explode, probably. But anyways, I will see you guys another time. Take care, everyone. Ciao for now.